How do I draw a sprite inside of XNA? Well, for this example, what we're going to do is we're going to draw this ship graphic as a sprite inside of XNA. If we look at it briefly, we can see that we have a small ship. This is actually this ship that is used inside of Space Fighter. And what we would like to do is to draw this as a sprite inside of an XNA game. So to do this, I'm going to begin by starting a new XNA game. So we'll go down to XNA Game Studio 2.0, we'll grab a Windows game, and we'll simply call this Sprite Example. We'll hit OK to our new project. And now the first thing that I'm going to do inside of this new project is add that sprite, that ship.png file, as an asset to our content subproject. And a very quick and easy way we can do this is by simply dragging the file onto our content subproject inside of the Solution Explorer. So if we drop this onto content, we can see that that expands and our ship is listed under content. It should also be noted that that file has actually been copied to our project, so we're not referencing this one on the CCS folder. We actually have one saved out under our uh, games project path. So you can see it's under the Visual Studio folder up under Sprite Example. So now that this has been loaded up, let's draw it inside of our game code. We actually need to do a few things before we can jump down to the drawing code. Um, what I'll do is I'll make a, re a field reference to that ship as a texture 2D, so we can hold on to a reference of that after it's loaded. So I'll make a new texture 2D field, which I will call texture. Then I'll jump down to the load content method inside of our game class, and I'll load that texture using the content manager. So we'll run content.load load a type of asset of uh, texture 2D and the actual asset name is simply ship. You'll note that I'm typing ship here without the .png extension that's because we're looking at asset name not file name and to get an idea of what that would be for any given asset you can actually click on the asset inside of our contents of project and see asset name listed down here in properties so we can actually see ship without the extension. Once we have our texture loaded in, we can now draw this as a sprite using the sprite batch. The sprite batch is actually included by default as a field within the new XNA game template. So upon starting the project, we'll simply just have a new field for a sprite batch. Now we can use that sprite batch down in our game's draw method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by calling sprite batch and calling its begin method. We need to make sure we begin this or rather the way sprite patch works is you begin a, a series of calls with the begin method then draw any number of sprite batch dot draw calls that you wish then finish that batch off with a sprite batch dot end call so since we have only one sprite we'll need only one draw call so we'll run sprite batch dot draw and i'm going to use the second overload to sprite batch dot draw because the second overload takes in a vector 2. That's more convenient because we have the built-in vector 2 dot 0 value so I don't have to gather or create a new vector 2. Now beginning with the first parameter we need to feed in a texture 2D and I saved just such a texture in a texture field that we had set up before. Now for the position I'm simply going to use the value held within the vector 2 class itself of 0. There's actually a built-in default for 0. And finally, we need to specify a color. That's, this color is used for tinting the color or tinting the color of the sprite through modulation. If we don't want there to be any color tinting, we can specify a color of white, and that will cause no modification to the pixels of the sprite. We'll simply use the original colors of each pixel. Once we have our draw call in place, we can finish this off with a call to sprite batch dot end. Make, and signaling that we have finished all the draw calls that we're going to do for this run of the sprite batch and we'll tell the sprite batch to flush everything out to the screen. Now with this all in place we should be able to run our application and see our ship graphic being drawn over the background inside of our XNA game. And with that, that will wrap up this How Do I video.